controllers, are we go or no go thrusters? Houston, this is Gemini 9. Sadly, I have to confirm your suspicions are correct. The nose cone of the target satellite has failed to come off and is still attached half open. The whole mess looks like an angry alligator. We copy, Gemini 9. Please be advised, we're gonna see if we can shake the cone loose by firing the satellite thrusters. Got it, where we go, thrusters. Go flight. Houston, we can see the satellite rolling, but it's no joy. It's not doing any good. You may as well save the fuel. I think we should plan an extra EVA so Gene can release the nose cone by cutting the fixing strap. This is only our second EVA, and I think it's already sporty enough. <laughs> I disagree. Look, Gene and I have planned the program that's more than achievable in the time. Only if everything goes to plan, and it certainly hasn't so far. Yeah, but if Gene can release the nose cone, then this action will once and for all prove the value of man walking in space. Well, Tom and I have checked out cutting the fixing strap up at the factory, and it is possible. There's still a lot of energy stored in that cone. When and if it comes loose, I don't want an astronaut or a spacecraft anywhere near it. If Tom flies alongside the open jaws, then Gene, on an umbilical, could check to see that the strap is still under tension and verify that the springs are still in the ball sockets. If they are, Gene can pull a safety pin, strap should release. If not, then Gene can cut through the strap with a pair of wire cutters and pull the cone off. And Gene's suit could get punctured during this procedure. We will not be losing an American in space. Yeah, but sooner or later, we're gonna have to fix a spacecraft in space. I just think we should seize the opportunity, To date, Buzz, we've only had 20 minutes of EVA experience which amounted to no more than one man dangling out of a spacecraft just so that we could say to the world's press, an American has also walked in space. This mission has been a shambles from the start. The first target satellite crashed into the Atlantic. The second target satellite spent most of its fuel, having failed to shed its nose cone. And now you want to add an unplanned EVA. I think it's a Buck Rogers stunt. I believe it is a safe and reasonable plan. Jim. I think it's worth just having a look. Well, wrongly or rightly, we must back the astronauts. Therefore, we will do the extra EVA. Anyone have any further comments? Good. Well, this is my last damn mission. I've given you a directive. Do your job. Capcom, please inform the crew to begin preparing for an extra EVA. Gemini 9, this is Houston. Please prepare for an extra EVA to release the nose cone. Houston, we've been taking stock up here, and we're both pretty bushed. We're low on propellants, and by the time we're finished the prep, we're gonna be mighty tired. I think we should knock it off for the night and consider the extra EVA for tomorrow. Flight concurs. Buzz, what did you say to Gilruth? He wants you taken off, Gemini 12. I merely suggested we got the maximum out of the mission and planned an extra EBA for Gene. Look, I'm sorry if I overstepped Wait the here. marks. Wait here! I'll do my best to sort this out. As a child, I watched you rise each night. It changed my world and filled me with delight. I did not understand until quite late that we would share an intertwining fate. I do remember feeling fear whenever you would disappear. I longed to see you reappear to guide my course upon the sea of destiny. Then one day I heard a sound A sound I'd never heard It offered immortality I'd never heard the word Now as a man I'm nearing you each day Self-promotion is not my forte You see the mess when I express a view They act as if I haven't got a clue Because of you I strive too hard I'm easy then to disregard So hoisted by my own petard I'm blown off course upon the sea of destiny 
when I hear you call You make me grasp my fate And offer us immortality You make me not to wait I don't know why you've chosen me Of all mankind to be the first But somehow I have always known I'd be the one to break the curse of your lonely should sleep.